Welcome back, Jessica here. On my left hand, I did a regular dip powder application of Revel Nails Aura, which is a temp changing dip powder. And I will be adding some art to this one as well. On my right hand, I did a dip powder application on all of my nails, except for my middle finger, which will be my first attempt at a geode nail. I am using the colors from the Revel Nails Baby It's Cold Outside Stocking Stuffer set. On my pinky, I have Baby It's Cold Outside number four, which is a flat periwinkle type color. On my ring finger, a shimmery, almost uh, baby blue. Number three is on my thumb, which is an off-white. And the number one is another shimmery color, kind of a dusty blue with uh, white, almost kind of silvery sparkles. So on my ring finger, I will be using colors number two, three, and four for that geode look. So first I'm going to apply my peel base, uh, which I also did on all of my other nails prior to dipping. And I do let that completely dry for a minimum of five minutes. And this is important because it can contaminate your base coat. Also, I do apply just one thin layer to my whole nail, but for some people they do find that that's kind of too much and only apply it to the center or not quite all the way to the edges of your nail. So it's a little bit of trial and error to kind of find out how it works best for you. Now for the geode nail, I'm going to apply two layers of the number two color just to the center of my nail. Uh, similar to doing an apex method where you're kind of building up uh, the curve in the center of your nail. And that's because I'm going to file through um, these layers so that first color is going to look like the center of an opened up geode rock which generally is sparkly in the center. Uh, and I also don't want the sidewalls and cuticle line to end up being too, too bulky. And I'm applying just two layers of the off-white color for that kind of in-between color or layer.
And finally, two layers of the darker blue for the outer color of that geode rock look. And now I'm going to apply a generous amount of activator <laughs> because I do want to make sure that it activates all the way through to that first layer um, since I normally only will do three layers of dip powder and this is much more. We want to make sure that's fully saturated uh, before we start filing. So normally for shaping the sidewalls in the cuticle line, I use the large barrel drill bit, uh, but I to get through these layers, all of these layers, <laughs> I am gonna be using the sanding bit. So that's gonna get through those layers much quicker and much easier. And I'm gonna focus on filing just the center area of my nail and a, just a little bit moving towards the cuticle and the sidewalls, uh, but I don't want to remove too much of the outer layer of that geode look.
So now I am going to switch to the large barrel drill bit, but I'm only going to do a little bit of shaping around the cuticle line and the side walls. I just don't want to do too much that's going to remove that outer blue layer. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of that filing dust with alcohol and that is because I've used the peel base. Uh, if you wash your hands with water while using the peel base that uh, and before top coat of course that could cause some early lifting. And now on to my eye gel beauty gel base and top coat uh, the base coat will give the dip powder kind of a sticky layer for the gel top coat to adhere to uh, otherwise you could experience some um, peeling with the gel top coat and I do cure both coats for 60 seconds uh, and also before curing I do try to make sure uh, with both layers that there's not any gel on my skin. And I am finishing up with a newer scent that I purchased from the Candy Skincare Scent Bar, uh, which is where you can request custom scents. Uh, the owner suggested this one to me, which is Cedar Leather, and it has kind of a warm, spicy, musky cologne type of fragrance. It's really, really nice. And I do have the website linked below in the description box for you as well. And as always, uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think of this Manny. Uh, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, bye for now.